Say you were the first person to ever try to answer the question, what is the universe made of? A good approach would be to try the simplest, most naive idea first. For example, you might say that the universe is made of the things we can see in it. So you could answer the question by making a list. Such a list might start like this. The universe. Me. You. That rock. That other rock. Those rocks over there. Etc. But this approach has major problems. First, your list is going to be very, very long. It needs to include every rock on every planet in the universe. And it needs to include your list itself. It's also a part of the universe. If you require that the list includes objects as well as the bits inside them, then it could be infinitely long. If you don't require the list to mention the bits inside objects on the list, then you could have a list of one element, the universe. Clearly, this approach has big problems however you go about it. But more important, making a list doesn't really answer the question. The kind of answer that would be satisfying wouldn't just record the complexity we see around us, the near infinite variety of stuff we see in our surroundings, it would simplify it for us too. That is precisely the triumph of the periodic table of the elements, the one with oxygen, iron, carbon, etc. It describes every object that humans have ever seen, touched, tasted, yes, including that time in third grade your friend tasted a lizard, or thrown at each other, all in terms of around a hundred basic building blocks. It reveals that the universe is organized under the same principle as Legos. With the same set of tiny plastic blocks, you can make toy dinosaurs, airplanes, or pirates, or create your own hybrid flying dino pirate. Just like Legos, a few basic building blocks, the elements, allow you to construct many things in our universe, stars, rocks, dust, ice cream, llamas. This organizing principle, where complex objects are really arrangements of simple objects, allows us to gain a deeper understanding by uncovering those simple objects. But why does the universe follow the Lego philosophy? As far as we know, there is no reason why such a simplification is even possible. As far as the first cavemen and cavewomen scientists knew, the world could have worked in lots of different ways. All that cave scientists Uke and Grug had to base their ideas on was their experience, which was consistent with lots of different ideas about what the universe was made of. It could have been that the number of kinds of stuff was nearly infinite. In such a universe, rocks could have been made out of elemental rock particles. Air could have been made out of elemental air particles. Elephants could have been made out of elemental elephant particles. Let's call them Dumbotrons. In that hypothetical universe, the table of the elements would have a nearly infinite number of items. Or, even weirder, we could have lived in a universe where things are not made of tiny particles at all. In such a universe, rocks would just be made of smooth rock stuff that can be cut into smaller and smaller pieces forever, and the knife you use to cut them would be infinitely sharp. Both of those ideas were consistent with the data collected by Professors Uke and Grug in their famous rock-banging experiments. We mention these possibilities not because we think this is how the universe works, but to remind you that it could have been how part of the universe works, and it might still be true for other kinds of matter in the universe that we have not yet explored. That's why the unanswered mysteries of the universe that you will discover in this book should make you feel inspired and excited rather than frustrated or demoralized. They reveal how much we have left to explore and discover. Hey everybody, this is Jorge Cham, the creator of PhD Comics. I hope you enjoyed that audiobook preview of We Have No Idea. It's a new book I wrote with particle physicist Daniel Whiteson, and it's about the big mysteries in the universe. If you'd like to buy the book or just learn more about it, please go to wehavenoidea.com. Thanks for your support.